Thanks, Brad. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that the web is the world's most critical resource for ensuring the free flow of information. The web is a fundamentally open and independent platform. So for developers, the web makes it possible to reach users around the world on almost any device. And for users, the web provides a truly frictionless experience. You tap on a link and load a page. And these properties have allowed the web to reach a massive scale, with over 5 billion devices accessing the web each month. And here at Google, from the very earliest days of PageRank to building our very own browser, we've been deeply invested in the continued growth and reach of the web. And as part of this, we have two main goals. First, to make the web platform itself more powerful and more capable. And second, to build tools to help you easily take advantage of this power. Over the past few years on Chrome, we've worked alongside other browsers to add capabilities to the platform to support new web experiences we've been calling progressive web apps, or PWAs. PWAs are websites that take advantage of modern plat web platform APIs to build experiences that can do things like work while the user is offline, send push notifications, or be added directly to a user's home screen. And universally, businesses that have built PWAs have seen incredible results. Take Instagram. Instagram launched their PWA last year to increase their reach to users with low-end devices. And they were able to double the retention of their web users. Times Internet has been launching PWAs across their products and saw an 87% increase in time spent per user for their Economic Times PWA. And when the Starbucks team rolled out their PWA, they doubled their daily and monthly active users on their website. And because the web, web adapts seamlessly to different devices and platforms, their mobile PWA also worked well for their desktop web audience. In fact, they found that the number of orders placed on the desktop version has grown to be about equal to the number of orders placed on their mobile version. And it's not just these businesses. Across sites that advertise with Google, we see an average mobile conversion rate boost of 20% when the site switches to a PWA. And we also build many of our own products here at Google as PWAs. Google Maps launched a new mobile PWA tailored to provide a fast and data conscious experience. And Google.com itself is a PWA. It loads 50% less JavaScript over the network and can support features like retrying search queries if you're offline. And investing in a PWA today goes further than ever. Chrome OS now provides native support for PWAs, allowing them to be installed and run fully integrated and in their own standalone window. And we're incredibly excited that Service Worker, the underlying new API that makes PWAs possible, is now supported on all major browsers, including recently Edge on Windows and Safari on both desktop and mobile. This is probably the most important leap forward for the web in the last decade. So PWAs have fundamentally changed what the web can do. But that's only part of it. WebAssembly enables websites to run high performance, low level code written in languages like C and C++. And it has broad support across browsers and devices. And because this code has access to all of the web's APIs, WebAssembly enables a new class of content to run on the web platform. As just one example, the AutoCAD team took a 35-year-old code base that's older than the web itself and were able to compile it to run directly inside a browser using WebAssembly. So now all of the power of AutoCAD is just a link away. So the web platform has been gaining all these great new capabilities. But we want to make sure it's easy for you to take advantage of them. So we've been working on the tools to help. Lighthouse is a feature of Chrome's built-in dev tools that analyzes your site and gives you clear guidance on how you can improve your user's experience. Half a million developers are running Lighthouse against their site or as part of their continuous integration process to help avoid performance regressions or even to keep an eye on the competition. And today, we're launching Lighthouse 3.0, which makes Lighthouse's performance metrics even more precise and its guidance even more actionable. So Lighthouse helps you understand how you can upgrade your site. 
But we don't want to just give you advice. We want to give you the tools to help make sure any new sites you build are high quality by default. We started the AMP project two years ago to help make building fast web pages much easier. And I'm happy to share that AMP is evolving in some big ways. We're expanding the kinds of things you can do with AMP. We've added a bunch of features that support critical e-commerce experience in AMP, like search autocomplete, a full feature date picker, and soon infinite scrolling lists. And businesses are seeing the benefits. As just one example, Overstock saw a 36% increase in revenue on their AMP pages. And we've introduced AMP Stories, an easy-to-use format for creating immersive stories on the mobile web. Now, all AMP content benefits from a fast, free, privacy-preserving cache that optimizes page loads. But they've had these Google.com URLs. So we're fixing that with a new standard called web packaging. This is also the first step towards our ultimate goal for any fast, responsive web content to be able to take advantage of all of the benefits of AMP. And today, we're announcing a new way to take advantage of all of these tools. We introduced Chrome OS almost seven years ago to showcase the best of the web and make computing accessible to all. Chromebooks grew 50% this past year, both units sold and 28-day active users. And we've expanded to tablets and attachables. But it's not just about access to technology. It's also about access to create it. And that's why we're expanding Chrome OS to support developers with the ability to securely run Linux apps on Chrome OS. So this means that many of your favorite tools, editors, and IDEs now work on Chromebooks. So starting with the dev channel on Pixelbooks, you can now build for the web on a platform built around the web. And soon, you'll even be able to run Android Studio on Chrome OS. So all in all, it's an incredibly exciting time to be a web developer. Businesses around the world are consistently seeing substantial returns from deeply investing in their web experience by building progressive web apps. And the reach of these PWAs is now truly everywhere, with support across every major browser. And it's easier than ever to build great web experiences with tools like Lighthouse and AMP and so many more of our web developer products that you'll hear about throughout I.O.